Hello, everybody, beloved and brethren alike. Hope that everyone is doing well. I wanted to just come on kind of quickly um, just to kind of encourage us because some of us have these notions, and I understand where they're from because in religious systems, they won't teach you about suffering. And any suffering they'll teach you about is about somebody gossiping about you or somebody don't like you, some petty kindergarten, uh, elementary school, schoolyard nonsense, okay? But we will suffer. We are all going to suffer in some way, shape, or form for the gospel, for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ suffered. He's our master. Are we above him? No, we're not. And there's going to be suffering in life. There is suffering in life. Okay? But there is also grace, anointing, ease in order to, um, what do you call it? In order for us to be able to, to suffer. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna. It's not gonna be so unbearable, although it can be unbearable, okay, to some degrees. Um, but definitely, we are going to suffer. We are going to suffer for the cross, of, uh, for the cause of Christ. We are going to suffer for our faith, and we must stand. Uh, the, if we look at the um, the apostles, the disciples, the apostles, the the manner in which they were martyred. And they still hold held on to their faith and what they believed. And they knew that even in death, even no matter how tor torturous the death was, how, how painful the death was, on the other side, they were going to see the sweet, beautiful face of Jesus Christ. And they, they knew what they believed in. So we have to know what we believe in. There's going to be perilous, I mean, perilous times are coming, not just what you see now. I mean, thank God for the Holy Spirit holding back so many things that could be occurring. Perilous times are coming. What we see now is really nothing in comparison to what it's going to be. And we don't know what it's going to be. We have to read uh, in depth studying using concordances and um commentaries well maybe not kind of, uh, commentaries are okay but some of them are just more or less opinions of more church people as far as i'm concerned so sometimes their view on things is not very good it's still churchy and not christ christy <laughs> Uh, but we are, you know, there, you know, in the, in the book of Revelation teaches us, you know, some things, peaks, gives us snap, uh, snapshots or peaks into what is to come. We don't know if we'll be around. We don't know when it's, when Jesus is returning or when these things will occur, but we must be ready. We must be what? Ready. You know, and and gird it up and strong. That's why God takes us through, through so many things. It's to strengthen us, to strengthen our faith in him and to strengthen us for things that are coming. If you have gone through many tumultuous uh, turmoils and different situations, hmm, trust and know you've been chosen for something. You know, especially if it's not just nonsense that you're going through. Because you slept with somebody's husband, now you you come out to your car, your car, uh, 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 your 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 car windows broke out and your tire slashed. Well, or you got graffiti all on your car, or your car keyed up. That's different because you 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 ask for that one. You you ask for that one. Just an example. But for the cause of Christ, there are many, many things that we are going to suffer. And again, um, you know, it's just to, it's to strengthen us. We just have to have one thing God loves, Jesus loves, is faith. He loves for us to have faith in him, trusting in him no matter what it is that we are going through. 
And beloved, I know I'm not alone. We have been through some things. Death of loved ones, death of marriages, death of careers and or money and or jobs and or homes. Uh, just so many things, not just, you know, so many uh, things, home, you know, just so many things that we have uh, going through and are going through because, you know, we're still living, you know, we are still, you you got something going on. That's why I say that because some people think that their family is, that families are perfect or there's no dysfunction, but there is a dysfunction in every family. And some people, they get uh, offended. Uh, def uh, offended by that, but that's not to be offended by. We don't, none of us have perfect families. We're all just living day by day, but if we're mature, we love one another and we, we just get through it. We love each other and we, we reconcile our differences and we, we continue to go on, but, but don't be offended by that. No family is perfect. I mean, <laughs> no family is perfect and nothing is perfect in life. We just have to deal with the lumps and the bumps. Every day, you you might make a to-do list saying, starting out, this is what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, and da 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 And there's some bumps in the road. Something happens, and you're not able to uh, fulfill that list at that time. Or, you know, just things happen in life, you know. So, you know, we can't just look at things and then or get so bogged down when things don't go the way we have planned. Don't get depressed and down and feel like, oh, man, you know, blah, 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 Because a lot of times God's hand is in that and he's stopping something for a reason. He is. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He is stopping something for a reason for our good, beloved. He loves us. And if once we have our our hand in his hand and put our life into his hands, he will help us. He will make help us. He will help us and make it through. Even though sometimes we'll be like, oh God, where are you? But he's right there, you know, with his beloved now. Not just not necessarily with sinners who are disobeying him, but those who have submitted themselves to him. He's right there, you know. He's right there, uh, even for sinners, but he, he's right there. And we have to trust him, believe in him, um, even though it does it may not look the way we think it should look or it looks off or whatever. We have to have our trust in him. And because we can't do anything. I mean, what is Matthew? Is that Matthew 6 tells us? Well, what, you know, what is worrying going to do? What can we do worrying about a situation? How much are we going to add to it? You know, what we gonna you know, what can we do? But God who sees all, knows all, is all, <laughs> overall. <laughs> that's the, that's somebody I want to be trusting in and, and whatnot. So, but I just want to encourage us uh that little thing that, you know, just hang on to God. Uh if it doesn't, you know, sometimes it doesn't look or smell very pleasant, but just hang on in there because we all know that manure, when you add manure to your garden, oh my goodness, you're getting ready to get some good plump food you know out of that you're getting ready to get something good so good bountiful harvest from it um so just hang on in there okay we love you very much don't forget we do have a, a prayer line and email address where you are welcome to contact in order to um submit your prayer request and we do have a dedicated team that is praying for you um and then we'll pray for you and your situations uh, as well. So um, dedicated and holy, not just anybody. <laughs> so anyway, love you very much. And I um, hope I mentioned everything I wanted to mention. It just uh, came to mind because I know a lot of people, when they're going through, they think that everything is just supposed to be perfect and roses and rosy and whatnot. But it's not. Nothing is like that. You might have some, you know, some days that that there's no bumps in the road, but I'm just saying, you know, don't ever think that when you're going through something, you've done something wrong or you're bad or God has uh, uh, turned his back on you or, or something like that. That's not the case. God knows what he's doing. It's to strengthen you. Get along with him. Find out what it is, you know, 
that's going on, you know, you can inquire of God. Some people even tell you, don't ask, don't question God, don't ask him no questions and all that. Uh, you better talk to daddy, okay, our father in heaven. You better talk to him because he's the one that knows. Why would you just be in confusion? You know, not that he's going to answer all the time, like right and right, not all the time that he answers right on the spot, but he will give you a peace and a knowing that he is on top of things and things and all of that. But anyway, let me go. I'll talk to you guys later. Be encouraged. We love you very much. In Jesus' mighty name, may your strength be fulfilled. May you be strong in him. May you not give up. May you not uh, throw the towel in. May you not commit suicide. May you not be depressed. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye for now.